Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Flora Sky. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we made our way here to Rude J after taking on a bunch of battles. In today's episode, we're going to do a little bit of backtracking through Route H, and we're going to make our way back through Cycling Road. So the cool thing about Cycling Road is that there's a bunch of different little exits and little runarounds. So we're going to go ahead and actually make our way to another little path that we could have took on before, but I wasn't really too sure of where we needed to go. So we're going to go ahead and make our way there today. Also, once again, thank you guys for your tips and your comments. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a like as it's much appreciated and it really does help the series. So let's go ahead and start things off with a bang then. It looks like Rush is going to be going up against a Magnemite. It's probably good that we put Rush up in front then so we can go ahead and give this guy all of this XP. All these cyclists are actually not that tough here on Cycling Road. So they're really, really good XP if you guys want to train up your Pokemon here. Next up is a little Pikachu. I guess I could switch things up, but I'm going to go ahead and leave Rush. We're going to leave Rush up in front. Rush deserves the XP. If we could go ahead and just get Rush to be way higher level than everyone else, that could definitely help us out a lot. So let's see if we can take down this little Pikachu. And that's what I'm talking about. See, this is what I love about Rush, that he's just going to be able to take on pretty much anyone. And with that, guys, the Pikachu has gone down. So let's see the last Pokemon that is going to be coming out here. And it's going to be a Voltorb. Let's just hope that this Voltorb doesn't sit here and pull something that none of us want, like a self-destruction. This dude just explodes and just, you know, blows our team away. I've also gone ahead and picked up a couple of super repels and just items that we're going to need through today, guys. So make sure that you make your way back to the latest city and pick up a couple items at the Pokemart because it's definitely something that you'll probably need because I know that we're going to have a ton of battles today. So with that, we went ahead and defeated the Triathlete and great, you know, that's how I like to start things off with a good battle to just warm up our team. You just got to prepare them for these little battles once in a while. And now we are actually going to go ahead and make our way to the other side of Cycling Road. So if you guys remember, we actually came to the left side before where we took on the single battle. But if we go ahead and make our way all the way to the right, it looks like there is going to be a doubles battle coming up. So let's go ahead and take them on. Okay, so there we have it. That actually wasn't too bad. I'm glad that we had Rush and Mako up in front. They make a pretty good team. Let me go ahead and use our Super Repel then. I also have a couple things that I picked up extra. I got a little bit of Super Potions. I don't have that many, you know, full heals, but hopefully we'll be able to buy some soon. Let's keep on going though. It looks like, oh, what is this guy doing? It's worth a go. I fished up a tough looking Pokemon. Uh, it has this magical quality to it. It sure looks tough. Yes, it does. All right, let's take him on. I like how the Pokemon he was talking about was a Magikarp. I really, I don't know why I expected it to be some like huge legendary. Turns out that the guy just really does have the one Pokemon that you can find pretty much anywhere. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. Very good. It looks like Toad also learned Headbutt. So that's a move that's going to be helping us out quite a bit. Okay, so there's definitely a couple different paths. Where exactly are we? This actually looks like the path we went through yesterday. And there's the doubles battle that we took on too. So this is definitely the area we're supposed to be going through. I'm glad we had the chance to explore that other route as well. I'm sure we'll be making our way back there eventually. So it's just a matter of time. And we have made it to Route I. Okay, so let's figure out what there is to do here in Route I. I'll go ahead and take a couple berries, though. It looks like there's also going to be a lot of battles here, which is great. I didn't really, you know, I guess I uh, kind of expected that. That's what we always expect on these routes for there just to be a ton of battles. I'm going to go ahead and see which one of these guys we can take on, though, which one of these guys we can skip. This is looking quite good. Definitely a little bit more puzzly than I expected. I'm going to go ahead and switch things up. I'm going to put Toad up in front because it looks like we have a hiker coming up. And mm, yes, I dodged him. I dodged him again. Oh my goodness. Did I actually just do that? Very cool. Awesome. So we actually did pretty good. I wonder what this item is down here. We're going to have a battle. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out what this is. We found TM11 Sunny Day. 
Wow, okay, that's actually a really, really good TM. That is going to definitely come in handy. I'm glad we found that. So very cool, sunny day, we have protect. We actually have a lot of really good TMs that we could teach our Pokemon. Now, this doesn't look like we can climb it. So let me go ahead and just backtrack a little bit. This looks like we're gonna be making our way into a cave, but let's battle this guy first. Okay, so I wonder what this cave is. It looks like we might have another battle, but cool. This is the Fiery Mountain, a dangerous volcano. Be careful. So let's go ahead and make our way inside of the Fiery Mountain then. And uh, ooh, we made it to Mount Fiery. Okay, so Mount Fiery. I wonder what we will be finding in here. Who knows? I'm going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemon a little bit, though. I feel like everybody's just been getting a really, really... You know, a couple tough battles here and there, so everybody's just been getting weakened down. Okay, so let's keep going into the cave then and see what we can find. This looks a little bit quiet in here. I do see the Team Magma grunts though, so that definitely gives you the heads up that we are probably going the right way. And it looks like we have made it to Taste City. So cool. Hey, how's it going? Where the water is clean, the fruits of bountiful harvest gather, and where people gather, a market soon starts. That is how a town is born and grows. And it looks like we have made it to our next city. What is this place exactly? Pokemon Trainer Fan Club. The names of trainers are scribbled all over the sign. Okay, they actually have a Pokemon Trainer Fan Club. I wonder if we could pick up an item in here. If we can meet the president of this place. What if this little girl is the president? My favorite trainer is cool, strong, and really nice. I wish there was a trainer like that. Uh, that does sound a little bit like us, I gotta tell you guys. So the Pokemon Trainer Fan Club. It doesn't look like they have a whole lot going on in here. Let's see what else is going to be in Taste City. What is this person looking at? I'm not really too sure. We have made it to another gym though. So great, it looks like there is going to be another gym here in Taste City. We found the Pokemon Center as well. You know what, I feel like our Pokemon are strong enough to take on this gym. So we definitely could go ahead and just make our way inside. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Hey, how's it going Nurse Joy? You know, talking about the strength that gyms give you. I gotta tell you Nurse Joy, I've been working out quite a bit if you know what I'm, I'm talking about the gyms, you know, the actual, the Pokemon gyms Nurse Joy. You know, we're giving our Pokemon a little bit of workouts. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And now that we are, Oh, there's a department store overflowing with great merchandise and excitement. So we could definitely pick up a couple items there that we need. Let's go ahead and see if we can make our way inside of the gym today. That would be an absolute blast. And hey, look who it is. Rodri, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready with your Pokemon? Okay, guys, here we go. Rodri versus May. So let's go ahead and take on our rival May then. And let's see how much stronger she's actually got. She's going to send out a Natu. Level 23? I mean, come on, May. Do you, does she really expect she's going to put up that much of a challenge with her little Natu? I'm going to go ahead and switch out the yellow. And yellow has been waiting for to get some action, to get into the mix of things, and to just start KOing everybody. Okay, not to. You're going to go for the little leer? Okay, okay. Well, lucky for us, we have the spark, so we don't even have to worry too much about any of the Pokemon we go up against. It's actually pretty, pretty good so far. Oh, boy. Hang in there, yellow. That's probably not even going to do that much. What the heck? Okay, let's go for one more spark. And with that, guys, there we go. The Natu went down. So, so far, so good. I like to see that Mei is at least trying to mix up her Pokemon. That's always good to see. And then, if I remember correctly, there it comes. The Grottle. Because if you guys remember, she did start off with the Turtwig. And now, the thing is, Turtwig is my favorite Pokemon. So, whenever we have to go up against one, oh, you know, it just hits you at home. Yesterday, I asked you guys as well what your favorite Pokemon type was. And it was really great getting to hear from you guys. I'm actually a lot more surprised at... The types that you guys gave me i really thought there was going to be you know more of the normal fire water you know those types of things but it's cool that you guys also like the other types and that everybody has a cool different type of pokemon that they really really like now i've told you guys that i really love fire types and fire types have just been something that have always stuck with me something that i've always loved to use throughout my adventures so fire types are probably my number two or number one, I mean, followed by my number two, which is probably electric. I think electric Pokemon are really, really cool, and I just love them. I think they're so much fun to use as well, and I think they're really, really strong. And then if we're going to put it at number three, I'd probably say that grass types are probably number three for me, because I think they're really, really underrated. And with that, speaking of underrated grass types, here we go, guys. Toad is evolving. So this is what we've been waiting for for a while. I told you guys that I wanted to evolve Toad. So 
so here we go guys it looks like we're finally gonna go ahead and evolve our toad and i am so happy about that so with that there we have it congratulations our toad evolved into breloom so now we do officially have a breloom on our team and we are gonna have a couple fighting moves to help us out as well see we're already gonna start off with the mock punch and i gotta tell you that's a pretty solid start i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of what should i get rid of i think i'm gonna get rid of leech seed because i honestly haven't been using it that much and now that we do have the breloom i don't think we'll be using leech seed that much breloom just got a lot more you know offensive power so we should be okay but i had absolutely nothing to worry about keep it up oh Rodri, you had a match call feature put on your pokemon app. let's register each other okay so go ahead and register give me your number may you know maybe we'll just you know give you a call once in a while Rodri, I tried to challenge this gym, but there seems to have something unseeable in front of the gym's door. Therefore, I decided to go to Torzoro City. However, we have to go through the desert with many heavy sandstorms. I have a present for you. Oh, finally. Okay, so we did obtain the Go Goggles. About time. Okay, guys, fantastic. So we'll be able to make our way through the desert near Route J. You're trying hard because you don't want to lose to me, I bet. See you later. Okay, so with that, see you later, May. And it looks like we can't make our way inside of this gym, guys. So we are going to have to do a little bit of backtracking and make our way to Route J. So if you guys remember, we actually just made our way all the way here. And it looks like we're already going to have to make our way back to Cycling Road before we can continue onwards to this place. So let's just go ahead and see how long it'll take us to make our way back. The cool thing is that Mount Fiery is actually... There's not much here, so I didn't expect there to be, you know, too much trouble around this place. I thought there was going to be at least a couple little obstacles, but so far, so good. And oh my goodness, it is fantastic to have a Breloom on our team now. You guys don't even, like, can know how happy I am that this Pokemon is on here because it is so strong. So let's go check out the Breloom and let's see what it's looking like. So we have a Grass Fighting type now. Very, very strong attack. So this Pokemon is going to be really awesome to use. Let's go ahead and get out of here, though. I'm glad we did make our way through Mount Fiery today. And it's also really great because it turns out that, lucky for us, we did make our way through the route previously in Route J. So you know what, guys? I'll go ahead and just meet you back there once I've gone ahead and just, you know what? Made our way through this crazy maze. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Now, the great thing is that I told you guys before, this is exactly where Route J leads us to. So, we are going to go ahead and continue on then, and we have made it to Route J. I'm really glad that they have that little bit of drop down. And the great thing about that is that we did battle all these trainers before. So, now we can actually just go ahead and make our way to the desert. So, now we are finally able to make our way to the desert, and hopefully we'll be able to find a lot of really great stuff in here. Let's hope we can find a couple good items. You never know. We might even be able to find that. That ground type that i've been telling you guys about that i've been looking for so if we could get a ground type here in the desert that would be really really great as well and it looks like we're gonna have a battle so let's go ahead and take her on okay so rush got knocked out this is actually a pretty tough place to be then let me go ahead and make sure that yeah we'll keep toad up in front Right now, I think it'll be for the best to actually have Toad out. Toad is probably our strongest Pokemon right now. So it's funny how the tables turn, right? Ooh, TM37 Sandstorm. So there are a couple good items inside of this desert. And I'm actually not even sure where the desert is taking us. But we have another battle. Okay, so definitely some tough battles, but it looks like... Oh my goodness, are you serious? There's just more and more battles. I'm really glad I stocked up on super potions then. That was probably a really, really good call. It looks like Toad is asleep though, so I need to put Mako up in front. Come on, Toad. You can't fall asleep on us right when we need you. This is probably the most crucial part of the adventure. And of course, that's when our Pokemon freaking decides to fall asleep. Oh, sweet. I got myself a revive. You know what? All these items are actually coming in really, really handy for us. Let me go ahead and use that revive on Rush. And cool, we got Rush back now in case we do have to go up against any pesky Pokemon. So let's see. So Desert Resort, this desert area, not the Desert Resort. There's just so many battles. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Okay, so there we have it. That is a tough, tough time. So with that, guys, it looks like we have made it to Route K. Now, I'm not even sure if Route K is the route we're supposed to be at right now, but it's worth a shot to get to another town, right? It's always good to just keep on learning what other towns are around this area. So this is going to lead us to a cave. What cave is this, though? Route K is just going to be a cave? That's actually a little bit strange. I did not think Route K would be just leading us to a random place. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and keep following Route K because I think this is going to be the right way. I'm going to go ahead and put yellow up in front. Let's go ahead and take on this battle. Okay, so this is just going to lead us to the desert underpass. So it looks like we have a bunch of different areas that we can explore, guys. That's the thing. We are going to have the choice to figure out where it is we need to go. I thought we were going to get the chance to find a couple more little towns or something of that sort, too. So far, we haven't found any other towns around here. And look who it is, though. We made it to Torzoro City. Hey, hey, you lose. Now give me your Pokedex. I can't give it for you. Don't be gratulous. I don't want to be a violent man. Give it to me now. Hey, <laughs> I got it. Huh, Roger, you're here. This guy wanted to prime me on my Pokedex. Please help me. So with that, guys, let's go ahead and help out our boy Wally get his Pokedex back. So let's go ahead and take on the first Team Aqua Grunt that we have seen. This is actually the first Team Aqua member in general that we've seen. We've seen Team Magma Grunts around the area, but we haven't really had the chance to see these guys. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Yo, if, if our boy could just land one little spark here, I think we would take this Pokemon down quite fast so let's see if yellow will be able to clutch it out the thing is we are paralyzed so i will be picking up full heals next time because you guys have seen how troublesome it is to not have those sorts of things on you i only had one full heal too so it's made it a little bit difficult but there we go let's go for the spark oh my goodness super effective there we go that's what i'm talking about we're gonna gain a bunch of xp and hopefully we'll get the pokedex back for wally Er, my career in crime comes to an end. We got 500 for winning. Uh, I won't give it back. Catch me if you can. Okay, so we're going to have to go ahead and catch that guy. It says, I can't pursue him because my Curlia has fainted. Help me catch him, please. I'll be waiting for you at Pokemon Center. I believe in you, Rodri. And also, it looks like we have made it to the city that we were supposed to today, guys. So we have officially made it to what I believe was called Tersolo City. And now we've made it to the Tersolo City Pokemon Gym. It's leader Watson, the cheerfully electrifying man. So make sure that you guys get ready and get pumped for our gym battle, which should be coming up next and then hopefully we'll be able to backtrack and take on the other gym leader which we found today so once again leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up as you guys can see this adventure is just becoming even crazier we're getting to explore so many towns and we're seeing so much and we're just learning even more about hoenn so make sure you just leave me comments if you guys have played through the adventure let me know how you guys are doing it's always really fun to get to read through them make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a like thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.